Yep. Here's Plant. Gets it on a stick. Comes right to. And is that a goal? It is. Still in game. All right, welcome back to Magnus Arena Not Pioneer post game. The right high the energy of the player day. of the game is going to be the goaltender, the Tanner Gillette, under siege most of the second and third period, uh, trying to keep Denver in it. He is the high energy player of the game. Joining me, head coach Jim Montgomery. And coach, obviously, uh, you know, this team jumps out to a 2 nothing advantage. But even more importantly, that first period, you came out and, as you always like to say, this team needs to play 200-foot hockey. That was probably the best example of 200-foot hockey in that first period. It really was. Right up until we got our first power play, uh, I thought we were playing great Pioneer Denver hockey. You know, we were our five guys were in the pitcher. We had good layers. We were second on pucks. And uh, we had a lot of puck possession time because of it. Yeah, so you get that second goal early in the second period. Uh, you go on the power play, unable to generate a shot. And then the game really changed from that point on. They, they go on the power play, had many opportunities, get that goal, and really never looked back. Five unanswered goals. Well, it shows you how important special teams are. Our power play um, has been very inept this year, and that's my responsibility to make it a lot better. Um, and that hasn't transpired yet. And uh, their power play is a clinic on how to run a power play. They got a shot in the first four seconds right off the face-off. One-timer, Tanner had to make a great, a great glove save, and then they ended up scoring on probably their sixth shot on net on the power play. And then later in the third period, uh, the Pioneers defenseman just simply couldn't get it out of your zone, whether it was a defenseman or a forward. It seemed like the Huskies were on top of them, taking the puck away time and time again. Well, St. Cloud showed why they're number six team in the nation. Uh, they're so dangerous. Those three goals they scored in the third period are just beautiful goals. And if, if you have breakdowns in your defensive zone or on your defensive transition, they expose it. That's a real good hockey team. Well, you know, Denver's got to come back. You, you've lost three straight games now, but this is your last chance to get a win b before the holiday break. How important is tomorrow's game, not only statistically, but to the psyche of this team? Uh, it's very important, especially to the psyche of the team. Yeah, I mean, th this is a team right now that, you know, started out the season pretty well, but, you know, has struggled the blade, and, and obviously if you could put your finger on it, you'd do it. Yeah, I am. You, you got that right. <laughs> I was just saying that to myself as I was walking up here. Like, well, where did the train the, the, the train fall off the track? Yeah, no, it's so easy to you know sit up here and say, here's what's going wrong. It's like, well, if I could fix it, I'd fix it. And uh, right now, I, I think, uh, like you said, it's the psyche of the team. Uh, you got off to a good start tonight. Obviously, you're going to have to do th that same thing tomorrow. But I think the, the, the best players on, these te on this team need to play better. Oh, no question. Our best players have not played well. I mean, I, I don't know who you would say our best player is right now. Yeah, it's, it's tough to say. I mean, uh, obviously, it, it seems like the freshmen uh, tonight were the, t the, the guys getting the goals and carrying the team. Yeah, Gambrell played very well for a while there. And, uh, you know, Terry played very well. But, it, I mean, you need the leaders, the, your upperclassmen, to lead you. And it's not happening right now. You can't rely on freshmen to win you games, especially in the first half of the season. All right, Coach. Well, I know it'll be a... It'll be a different attitude tomorrow night, and, and obviously we'll talk uh, uh, Pioneer pregame. All right. Thanks, Jay. All right. That's it.